hi guys thanks for joining me in the studio today i am just cutting some foam and you'll see what i'm using to cut the foam but i find that it is so much easier to cut the foam using this than to try to use a serrated knife i have already cut one and place it in the cushion cover i am gonna go ahead and cut the other one the first thing i do is mark my lines now this foam is pretty good it was in another couch and we got rid of the couch but i kept the seats because i knew that i could re reuse them right i'm not against reusing a good thing and saving some money because a piece of foam for this one cushion could run anywhere from seventy dollars to eighty five ninety dollars so if you want to do two cushions that's going to be almost 200 bucks depending on the density of the foam that you're getting right so if you can save yourself some money why not it's still firm and it will last for a little while more probably outlast the cushion cover itself the fabric that's on the foam and so I am going to go ahead and cut this one. I have marked a line across because this is too deep for the cover that I want to insert it in. So I'm going to go ahead and guess what I'm using? I'm using my electric knife. The next thing I have to do is cut a piece of the thickness because this foam is made for a gusset that's five inches and the gusset in this cushion is only three and a half inches. So I'll have to cut an inch and a half all the way around. This is what I do. I measure from the top here down an inch and a half and then I draw my line across. So I've drawn my line here. The next thing I'll do is draw a line on the opposite side. Now I drew the lines on the opposite sides because the front of the foam is a bit rounded so it will throw me off if i try to measure an inch and a half down i'll take my ruler and i look to see where the line is on this side do the same thing for the other side and then i'll just draw across the foam because that's where my inch and a half line will be for my cut. Then I'll do the same thing on the other end. Look for my line over here. Look for my line over here and draw the line across. So now I'm ready to cut. I'll use the full length of the blade and I'll just cut on the lines. Flip. And do the same over here. When you're done, you have your piece of foam. Now, it's not perfect because it wasn't cut by a machine, but that's okay because what we're going to do now is wrap 
the foam in Baden. So the sides of the foam can stay bare. We want to make sure we cover the front. I'm using the same batten that was on the foam when it was on the other couch. Because it's good too. Why throw a good thing out, eh? And so, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the cushion cover. And just like that, we have two cushions and we did not have to go out and spend two hundred dollars to buy new foam and believe me they will last for a few more years i'm all about recycling repurposing reusing so we can reduce waste we waste so much it's crazy what are your thoughts on that guys do you reuse recycle so that you can reduce waste leave your comment below let me know your thoughts on that subject and thank you so much for subscribing for interacting with the videos for liking and if you know anybody who can use the contents on the channel please do share because all of that help the channel to grow and i appreciate you immensely if you have watched the videos before if you find yourself coming back or even if you're watching it for the first time believe me there is a lot of useful um videos on the channel so check it out and do hit that subscription button and also remember to hit the notification bell icon so that you can be notified of new videos. Guys, you take care now and I'll see you in the next video.